Item number SCP-100-J Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-100-J is kept in a 20 by 20 meter containment structure on the bottom floor of Site-19. The structure is to be lined with plasticrete backed up by 4 meters of steel. Attempts to encase the SCP in telekill have met with absolutely zero success. SCP-100-J is to be kept in a plastic bucket in the middle of the containment structure. There is to be a round-the-clock surveillance of SCP-100-J. Security on SCP-100-J is minimal at most times, needing only one guard on a rotating schedule. However, when a new operative joins the staff at Site-19, a security detail of at least 20 fully trained security operatives, as well as 10 agents, are to be on duty outside the containment structure for 72 hours. After 72 hours, if no new SCP has been spawned, normal security practices are to be reinstated. Should a non-sentient SCP emerge from SCP-100-J, a team of researchers is to be dispatched into the containment structure to determine the properties of the new SCP and to determine how best to decommission it. Should a sentient SCP emerge from SCP-100-J, Site-19 is to go on full alert and all manpower brought to bear on containment structure. Agents Clef, Kondraki, Gears, and are to be immediately informed so they can begin forming decommissioned strategies. Should an SCP from SCP-100-J make it past the bottom ten floors of Site-19, the on-site nuclear weapon is to be detonated. SCP-100-J appears to be a 42cm by 32cm mound of equine feces. The SCP maintains a constant moistness, as well as an inner temperature of 38.3 degrees Celsius. Whenever a new operative joins Site-19, there is a 75% chance that a new SCP will be spawned from SCP-100-J. There is a 50% chance of the new SCP being sentient. Non-sentient SCPs come in a variety of categories. Many are weapons, all of which bestow extraordinary abilities upon the user. The majority of such weapons are swords, with a small minority being rather awkwardly modified firearms. Additional non-sentient SCPs tend to be items that either work better than they should, or work in direct opposition to the way they should. Sentient SCPs come in two main categories. The majority of humanoid SCPs appear as idealized versions of the new operative, physically attractive with a multitude of abilities, and tend to make people feel comfortable in their presence. Non-humanoid SCPs are usually some form of enhanced normal creature, but with bizarre coloring. Addendum. List of SCPs created from SCP-100-J SCP-D Little Addy SCP appeared to be Adolf Hitler at six years old. SCP was terminated without any alterations to the timeline. SCP-048-D Joey SCP was a dog with a human face, friendly except when taunted. SCP was put to sleep without any negative effects. SCP-083-D Duke SCP appeared to be a polite and well-mannered vampire. SCP was terminated by Agent Kondraki after near destruction of Site-19. SCP-886-D Vibrations SCP appeared to be skin-tight suit that interacted directly with a subject's nervous system, granting them incredible powers. SCP was burned with no adverse side effects. SCP-966-D Reverse Air Purifier SCP acted as an air purifier, but in reverse. SCP was smelted, and resulting scrap used to line the floor in SCP-173's room. SCP-108-D The Man of War Human male resembling Agent James proved to be unstoppable when in possession of any weapon. Subject was given SCP-572 and self-decapitated. SCP-685-D Bag of Holding SCP appeared to be a normal satchel, capable of holding an unlimited quantity of items. SCP was turned inside out and vanished. SCP-122-D Large Canine SCP with a large winged dog. SCP was put to sleep with no complications. SCP-096-D Too Good Air Conditioner An air conditioner that reduced room temperature to zero degrees. SCP was smelted down, and the scrap was not used. SCP-547-D Nature's Fury 
SCP with a teenage male identical in appearance to Dr. Timothy, but wielding unbelievable power. SCP was terminated by accident. SCP-072-D A spell book. SCP was a thick book which claimed to contain magic spells. SCP was burned with no complications. SCP-226-D Chrono Komodo A sentient statue of a Komodo dragon that possessed time-controlling abilities. SCP was terminated by accident by Dr. Iceberg and Professor Kane Pathos Crow. SCP-153-D The Impaler's Thumb SCP with a mummified thumb that turned its holder into a patriotic xenophobic racist. SCP was accidentally incinerated by Dr. Kondraki. SCP-1016-D Ben the Cyborg A self-described computer genius whose body parts were largely replaced by computer hardware. Decommissioned by Dr. Gears. SCP-106-D Exploding Woman SCP was a woman who, by inserting her finger into a human's navel and touching one of their organs, would explode, regenerating twenty days later. SCP was destroyed by subjecting it to the simultaneous presence of SCP-048-D and SCP-053. SCP-151-D K. SCP was a creature that resembled an albino human child with a furry tail possessed psychokinetic abilities, and a strong hate for personnel convicted of violent crime towards women and or children. SCP was decommissioned by exposure to SCP-056. SCP-806-D SCP with a white rubber mask that metamorphed people's heads until they died. Was destroyed by unified staff effort within 26 hours of its emergence. SCP- D the reanimated corpse of former United States President James Garfield, captured and incinerated. SCP D An evil goblin jester that likes to murder people, fed to SCP 682. SCP D Eight billion humans that gain psychic powers when their brains are not exposed to radiation. All instances were allowed to be terminated by SCP 076 2 as a reward for good behavior.